My name is Jeff Thielman. I'm honored to serve on the Arlington School Committee and excited to be a candidate for re-election. The School Committee sets policies for the Arlington Public Schools, works with district leadership to develop the annual school department budget, and hires and evaluates the superintendent. Arlington has a collaborative school committee with people of different views and talents, and I enjoy working with each of them to serve our community. I'm running for re-election to finish the work the committee has started in recent years to support the implementation of the district's new strategic plan and to be a voice for groups in our community who may not feel fully represented in our school system. Since 2003, I've been part of several projects that improved our district. I served on the Thompson Building Committee where I gained detailed knowledge of how to access and use state and local funds for school building projects. I was a member of the committee that managed the reconfiguration of the Gibbs facility into a sixth grade school, helped lead the effort to secure funding to expand the Thompson and Hardy schools, and since 2016, I've chaired the Arlington High School Building Committee, which is overseeing the largest capital project in our town's history. One reason I'm running for another term is to see the high school project through to its completion. We have managed the project through the pandemic and a recent period of inflation, staying on budget the entire time. Phases one and two are done, and our students are enjoying classes in the new STEAM and humanities wings, which include a new auditorium, library, and cafeteria. The building is beautiful, and students, faculty, and staff love it. Work on phase three, our indoor athletic space and amphitheater is underway, and later this spring, we'll begin prep work on phase four, the outdoor facilities, including new fields and a connection to the bike path. The project will be done in the fall of 2025. In my current term on the school committee, I served on one of the working groups for the strategic plan. And one of my goals over the next three years is to be sure the plan is funded and implemented. The plan requires the district to ensure that all students have access to a rigorous and excellent education. It includes steps to attract and retain quality teachers and staff, improve the district's infrastructure and operations, and enhance communication and partnerships with parents and the public. The plan has a particular focus on supporting students with individual education plans, English language learners, black and Latino students, students who identify as LGBTQIA+, and students from low-income families. My entire professional career has been spent leading schools in nonprofit organizations that serve those who are often left behind in our society. Early in my career, I oversaw the startup of 24 high schools that serve economically disadvantaged students in urban communities across the United States. I served as president of a high school in the city of Boston for six years, and for the past nine years, I've been the president and chief executive officer of a multi-state human services organization that serves more than 20,000 immigrants and refugees throughout New England. And in this role, I oversee a staff of more than 250 professionals. That professional experience will continue to guide my thinking on our town school committee. I would be honored to have one of your two votes on April 6th, and you also can vote by mail or vote in person at town hall prior to election day. Thank you for watching.